In this question, we've been asked to simplify this algebraic expression here. Now, what we can actually use is algebraic division to see if we can actually factorize this numerator. So what we're doing is y plus 4. That's going into y cubed plus 3y squared minus 5y minus 4. So how many times does y go into y cubed? Well, it goes in y squared times. And now we multiply this term by this term. So y squared times y gives me y cubed. And y squared times 4 gives me plus 4y squared. And now what we do is we subtract these two terms here. So this here and subtracting this here. And when we do that, the y cubed terms will become 0, and we'll end up with 3y squared minus a 4y squared, which is negative y squared. Then we can bring, back the, uh, sorry, bring down this next term, which is minus 5y. Right, so how many times does y plus 4 go into negative y squared minus 5y? Well, it'd be minus y. And then we go through that multiplication process again. So negative y times y is negative y squared. Negative y times the 4 would be negative 4y. And then we subtract these terms again. So the negative y squared, this will be plus y squared, so we get a 0 here. Negative 5 plus 4, we get a negative y here. Bring down the next term, which is negative 4. How many times does this go into this? Well, it'd be negative 1. And then we multiply again. Negative 1 times y is negative y. Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4. And when we subtract these, we get 0, and therefore we can stop. So what exactly does this mean? Well, it actually means that this numerator, we can actually split into y plus 4 multiplied by this term here, which is y squared minus y minus 1. And obviously that is all over y plus 4. Now the y plus 4 will cancel with the y plus 4. So we're left with y squared minus y minus 1. So simplifying this expression here, we get this answer here.